welcome to Superhuman Customs. I'm your host, Stephen Human, and we've got a quick one. This is gonna be pretty simple. Wave Rider just came out last week. I love the Wave Rider character I have since he first appeared in, what was it, 1991? In the Armageddon 2001 storyline. I have those comics. This is a great figure. I love that he's big, he's on a good big buck, but his color's just off. He's always been more of a dark metallic blue and a little bit lighter gold. That's what we're gonna do to this guy today. So let's jump right in, have a little bit of fun. What I'm gonna do to start out with is that we're just going to lightly brush on my metallic blue. It's just the acrylic, the craft paint that I use. And this stuff is really good because it goes on nice and thin. And we really are just going to do a dry brush on this guy. You can already see the difference. That's what I'm going for with him. I want this to be subtle because he was always shown in the comics as being dark blue, but having a sort of just a green metallic feel to it that was dark. And that's what I want here. When I first saw this figure, I was quite excited because again, I like Wave Rider. I think he looks really cool. He's just got a great look to him. But when he was, when I saw it, it was all black and in this sort of bronze instead of gold, I knew that I would have to get him and I would have to make a few tweaks, a few personal tweaks. And this is the number one tweak that I was looking forward to doing was getting this nice dark blue on here and making him stand out. It's funny because a lot of you guys have mentioned how I will lapse into kind of a Bob Ross type whisper voice while I'm doing this. And somebody last week mentioned that I should have, it was like I was saying when I was doing Lex Luthor, that I should have said like, we're painting happy little villains here. So I wanted to say that this week. We are painting, we're painting happy little villains. We're painting a happy little wave rider here. So, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I love Bob Ross. So if I have a Bob Ross vibe sometimes when I'm talking, I'm totally cool with that. Well, he is looking really great in my opinion, just even with this. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through some of these muscles. I'm gonna add just a little bit more, lighten them up where the light would be hitting it a little bit more. So like here on the, on whatever muscle this is on his leg, <laughs> hit there. And you guys can probably hear the piano playing in the background because my kids are having their piano practice and my wife is not home. So I have to be the adult and listen. So that's why I'm doing this while I'm listening. Really digging how this guy looks, but we're gonna go over him now with the gold. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna do a really nice light coat. This is just a standard Vallejo gold. Um, I found that the craft paints, certain ones work well. So I've enjoyed the blue and the green. The red has, did not work well. I didn't really like how it turned out on the, uh, on the Flash, the movie Flash figure. I was quite disappointed actually with how that one turned out. But the gold, like I, I haven't found a good gold craft paint. The gold from the Vallejo is, is the king. And I think I'm gonna try the, the silver Vallejo because the silver that I've used before on the craft paint have not been very good, so. And that's starting to look nice. Look at that. Good stuff. You can really start to see the color difference here between the abs, because I haven't hit these yet. And now as I add the gold, it just brightens everything up. It looks so nice. And like I said, this is a pretty simple one. I mean, just some blue and some gold, but it's gonna make a massive difference. Let's go ahead and get his face. I need to be a little bit more careful here, not to get the eyes, but I can go over it just the same as everything else. And it will start to change. Now I ran a quick experiment on the back. I got this really watery Citadel paint, uh, yellow. 
and I want to give his hair a different texture, not just the orange. And so I'm just going to go over and hit it with a little bit of this and mush it all around because then it's going to hit in the in the some of these areas. Just don't want that on the head. And it's just going to give him a unique texture and make him stand out a little bit more. And that's what I want because I want this to just have I don't want it to be monochromatic. I mean, obviously it hits the light. That's what, you know, is that see-through plastic, but, or the translucent plastic, but I want it to have more of like this. And I think that's gonna give it a look that is just way preferable. So again, really light, just a little bit, and then move it around. And look at that. That looks pretty dang cool. And at that point, we're pretty much done. I mean, nice and simple huge difference. So I wanted to do one more thing. Now you'll see I tested on the back. I took some glow-in-the-dark paint and I just went over the edges here and it added just a little bit of contrast and I feel like that's what this guy's missing. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to add this on all of these little areas, just these dividing lines. And it's going to be subtle once it dries, but I really think that it's going to add sort of the contrast that I feel is missing right now between the gold. I mean, the gold is cool, but WaveRider always had just an interesting kind of color scheme and interesting contrast. So I think going through and doing this is really going to make him stand out. Contrast is the name of the game, guys. Remember that having a little bit of difference in coloring goes a long way to making figures pop and just look cool. And so I'm really happy that I kind of had this idea and that it looked so good on the back. So I'm just going to do that and that'll make it exactly what we want out of Wave Rider here. And as long as we're adding contrast, I'm going through just with a hint of wash from Vallejo, just a little bit in some of these areas, just to accent the muscles. This will make it so that the gold is not quite so stark, but it will be subtle enough that it'll give us the look that we're after. Told y'all it would be quick, and it was, but it made a huge difference on this Wave Rider. Sometimes that's all you need is just a little TLC to make these characters pop. Having him now look much more comic accurate with the shininess, the, the gleam that he's got, the energy. I dig this guy. He's going to have a prominent place on my shelf now, whereas before he was just another figure. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these videos. I'm Stephen Human. Check out stephenhuman.com for all my novels, and I will see you next week.